Welcome to Off-Grid Contract. Guys, in this video today, behind me, you can see this top of pole mount array. I'm gonna be showing you from start to finish, from digging the hole all the way up to the top, mounting this thing, um, how to get it going so that you can get your wire into it later and get it in the house. We're gonna show you how to do the whole structural mount today of your panels, concrete, the whole works. And so I hope you enjoy this. And with that said, let's get going. got that tree out of the way this fence will be adjusted if needed but i think we'll get up above it i got a feeling that hole there a little bit where a tree took out we've got the old wind turbine pole out of the way because that was a little vertical axis wind turbine that sat on that on the seal top so we're going to put in place of that this huge pipe right here and um if you want to get this material whenever you order um, from hurricanewindpower.com. You can get it uh, from them. They, they can get you all the information and everything when you go to get your panels and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, long and short of it, what I do when I'm out in the field is two things. Now, one is I cut the bottom like so right there and I bend those up and make ears on it so that it grips more into the concrete itself and it's not just gonna slide right through. Now, another thing I've done over time too is I've drilled a hole one this way and one that way making a cross and i put one uh, foot pieces of rebar through that now i'm not going to go that heavy duty today um, with that because i'm going to put so much concrete at the base and in and around this that i shouldn't have that problem um, and i'm not just trying to have to do this like this is my own uh, photovoltaic power at this point but like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna go overkill with that today. There's gonna be a lot of weight and a lot of concrete holding that in place. So that should suffice. And of course, I'll wet that concrete. I'll put about uh, six, seven inches of concrete in the bottom, wet that, and then uh, slide that down into that so that it's a solid form. Um, but at that point, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and put some concrete in the ground. And uh, you will see here next what's going on with how that I'll line that up. And I'm gonna go to grab one more bag of concrete because uh, I'm going to just get it rough set today um, and uh, get the cap maybe set on it, figure out some adjustments on that because I'm going to finish this out on another day. This is just prep work today. Yeah, so you can see the pole is concreted in now. And this top cap will go across it. Right here, you can see Iron Ridge cap. Um, they make these in two inch and three inch, but I definitely encourage if you're going to do the top pole mount single with three panels, do uh, with a three inch one. And then I'm gonna drill through and put a lag bolt uh, through that, or I'm sorry, just like a regular long bolt. And then these are held on with these three inch clamps that you can get from Iron Ridge. Port number is 29-0300-HDW Rev D3. That's a three inch U-bolt kit. All these parts can be acquired through Hurricane Wind Power as well. Uh, check them out, links in the video description below. But I'll throw this part on guys, then we'll move to the next section. All right guys, so once you've got that up there, you've got your U-bolts on. Now this is just a temporary band um, because I'm out of U-bolts and I needed two more of the Iron Ridge, but I don't know, I may actually leave them because I like that long strap across that holding even more. Um, but the regular U-bolts, I'll have on the brackets up here in just a second. But I got a stainless bolt with a washer and I drilled that out so that I can run that through the other side and you'll see when I torque that through it'll be super tight um, but I don't want to do that just yet because I'm going to lean this down put the panels on the rail that you'll see put together in a second and then I'm going to actually spin it around tilt it down put the last panel on the bottom and then spin this back and then lock it in place permanent and then uh, that kind of just keeps this easy to swivel for the time being okay so now at this portion in the build you have the GMB 201 bracket part. Like I said, the guys at Hurricane Wind Power can help you design your uh, top of the pole mount arrays. But this has already been cut to length and shipped to me uh, for these three modules. But what you'll do is you'll take these bolts, which is part number 29-7001-002, hardwire rail connection kit, and you will run those bolts that have the square head down that channel. Then you'll lay that bracket on that centered on the rail and you'll mark a center mount on your bracket like I do to keep it steady and 
straight and then you'll center that up on there tighten that down then that will set a top there on the pipe now what i do on my pipe is i come in about five inches and then put them that way when i put the panel down um, it's got some inset on it so they can't flex loose in the wind I want to mention two last notes um, is that if you don't want to put brute force on that tip that up and put the last one up under that with the two bolts and then two at the bottom what you can do is uh, zip tie that right there accordingly ahead of time the top lead so you're not having to get on a step ladder later uh, to finish that out and what you can do is set the ladder up beside it let it pivot forward and you can actually walk up bolt that up right there and then just get underneath this tilted spin it and let the other end flip back up um, you can definitely do it that way too so I mean there's a couple options as to how you can do this third panel you can just articulate it to the degree angle that you need um, for your property where you're located and then right here on the ends now that I can get up on each end on the ladder easily um, I can recap this this is the end cap. This one right here is a, what does that say? 38 mil, or yeah, 38 millimeter. And it's a little tall. But now what I can do is just take my Milwaukee band, so I'll cut that down because I'll just use extra parts I have left from jobs and stuff. But now when you order, you just want to make sure, like I said, order from the guys in the link in the video description below. Just want to make sure and, you know, figure out the size uh, panels. Uh, you want, and, and because uh, once you figure that out, the style and size of panels you want, they can get you the clip that you need um, for the end caps. And the last thing is now, you know, this is going to be in series, and of course, going to be in parallel with other panels going in. So I've got to bring my one lead to there, and then tie this one to that clip, that clip to that clip and then come this one back up the rail to here zip tied in neatly like that to tie to my other lead so i have my positive negative going down the conduit over to my structure and guys that is pretty much it uh other than just trim uh a little bit of excess because now i didn't leave as much as i have before uh, on spacing i just went three inch past this time so these rails, I'm actually gonna trim them a little bit more um, when I'm done. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the end of the road right there. So I hope you enjoyed this build. Um, you can do this project in one, pretty much one long day if you really needed to. Um, but long and short of it, guys, this can be replicated beside each other. I just really encourage a six foot space in between. Uh, with that said, guys, if you wanna go off grid, make sure to check us out at offgridcontracting.com. Um, trying to do these videos nowadays to educate everybody because I can't get to everyone. Uh, plus, with my transition to doing a lot more Bitcoin mining and, and doing a little less construction, um, I figure this is a great opportunity to help people help themselves. Uh, so, like I said, if you want to check us out, it's offgridcontracting.com. Links in the video description below. And as always, until next time I see you, look forward to working for you.